Hey, it's Mark from Lexi Media, and I just want to go over this quick video on how to have multiple um, free options for people to download on MailChimp. Um, this is quite a common problem with MailChimp on if somebody's already downloaded uh, one, uh, say, free uh, ebook, then when they try to download the second one, um, there's often issues with saying the user's already subscribed in MailChimp uh, because the details are already in there and they struggle to get access. Uh, for this reason, you find a lot of people making errors by having multiple lists and then by having multiple lists, you just get in a bit of a confusion when you are sending emails out and um, we'll be sending emails aren't relevant to certain people and we don't want to go down that road to down that road of getting things wrong in the first place. So just following on from some of the other videos that I've made on MailChimp, uh, <clears throat> I just want to go over this, how, how we can get around it in a, quite an easy way. So you've got no coding, um, you've got no embedded forms that you need to do on your website. Um, there are other methods of doing something similar where you have the sign up form on your website and you add a little bit of code in there and it automatically forces somebody into a group within your MailChimp. Um, but to keep things simple and relatively easy, and this is quite a sufficient way of doing it as well. So in MailChimp, the first thing I did in my list, and I'm just using this uh, test account that I've got here just to play about with, um, in this test list, what we did was created a new tag. So we go down to tags, create tag, um, and what you can see, if I made these um, these four tags, actually made four, but we're only going to use three of them. We made four tags, uh, requested test A, request test B, and request test C. So test A, test B, and test C are the three free uh, products that we're going to offer for people to download, whether it's a, a quiz or some sort of challenge or a, a, an ebook or PDF, whatever it is, they're the free things that people can download. So the first thing I did was created the, the three tags. I'm just going to get rid of this one. Okay, so three tags. The next thing we did was created um, landing pages within MailChimp. So as you can see in my test folder here, I've got three landing pages, uh, uh, FreeBA, FreeBB, and FreeBC. And if we take a look at one of these, you can see it's quite simple. It's plain, it's enter your details for instant access, email address, first name, uh, get FreeBC. Um, now, one thing that does frustrate me about these MailChimp landing pages is you cannot, the first field that comes up is email address and you cannot move the order of that one. Uh, so it's a, it would be nice to be able to move that below and have first name, last name if you want it, and maybe some other details if you need those, and then email address, and then your um, get free BC button. But unfortunately, you can't, cannot do this. Um, so what people are doing are, um, so we're taking people from our website. So these are just three quick pages I've set up on my website. Uh, test A, test B, and test C, so people can get the, the products. And that button there basically takes them to, uh, so test A, Get free BA basically takes them to this page here. Enter your details and get free BA. Let's just go back. And the next thing I've set up um, in my campaigns is automated emails, um, automated email test A, automated email test B, and automated email test C. So if we just look at the details of one of these. So automated email test A. 
Um, we set a trigger immediately after subscribers join the list or are imported to your list. And under the filter by segment or tag, we um, we set the conditions. I'll show you now. We set the conditions um, that the subscribers match the following conditions and their landing page activity was signed up on test freebie A. So anybody that enters the details on the landing page of test freebie A, um, this email will be sent to them. And following that, we have this post send action, which is add the tag. And the tag that is added is request test A. So basically the workflow is as follows. Let's just exit this. So a person lands on my website, um, they see a multitude of offerings. They decide they want test A. They click on freebie A as follows. They are sent to this page and they enter their email address. So let's just put in any another test email of mine. And first name Mark, get freebie A. And as you can see, um, this is just a quick uh, thank you landing page I've created on the website. So it now says, uh, go check your emails. So basically, it's a success page. Obviously, you'd have something a bit more fancy here. Go check your emails. If you can't find your emails, check your spam slash junk folders and blah, 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 blah. Um, so we'll go and check emails in a bit. So now if we then, the customer likes that and the customer decides to come back to the website and they want another free service that we're offering, then they come along, they click get free BB. Again, the uh, face with this page here, they enter their email address, add the same one. Add the same um, email address. So obviously we're re-entering the same details of somebody that's now already in the um, in the list. I'll we'll just take a look at the list to show you. I'm already on there. And there I am with that leam.print at outlook.com. Um, as you can see, I've already requested um, test product A, um, and I am subscribed, and I and the source was test freebie A. So now let's then go and submit freebie B. Again, we're faced with the same thank you page. Go check your emails. Excellent. And then we come along, and we want uh, we also want freebie C. Uh, again, same email address, same first name, the same details that I'm already on the list, and we will do get free BC. Again, the same landing page, go check your emails now. And my screen recording just crashed, so getting back to it, let's look at the test list here. <clears throat> So, um, as you can see now, this lean print as outlook.com has now tagged um, request C, request B, and request A. I am subscribed. The original sus subscription was via test um, free product A. And the fact that I have been tagged in. Um, with all three tags means that all three emails must have been sent. So if we look at our campaigns, 
and a quick check of email test A. Three emails sent. And three recipients. And as you can see, lean print at outlook.com is at the bottom there. If we look at B and C, they should be the same too. Uh, just quickly, uh, B and C, if you report. Three emails sent, uh, B report. Three recipients. And requested B has also been sent to Lean Print and Outlook. And C one recipient Lean Print at Outlook.com. So as you can see, once um, the first time the form was filled in that subscribed me to the list and um, but i've been able to follow up and still request uh, two further three products if we just have a look in my e and here in my emails you can see i have test product a uh, test product b and test product c if you take a look at those Here's your freebie PDF test A. Well done to you. Here's your link. Let's click on that and again, same for B. Free PDF test product B. And the same for C. Free PDF. Oh, I uh, misnamed that to D. Um, but you get the idea. So although this isn't the most perfect way of doing it, it's actually um, reasonably simple. It does keep things quite tidy if you just have this set up like so. Um, this section here is just an image that I threw together on, um, I did it on Photoshop, but you could do this in something like Canva and save it as an image. Um, I'll just show you the, um, design of the landing page. As you can see, it's simply an image that I've used there. Um, the download form, uh, the subscribe form, and the button text, and it leads to a thank you page. Um, which is the one that takes you back to my website. Um, background, I've just made it all white to keep it clean. You could obviously color code this so it looks similar to your website. Um, but all in all, it's a relatively simple. Um, one of the easiest way of segmenting um, your list by using tags. Um, and then when we want to do, when we do want to send a uh, future emails and um, maybe to promote product uh, C to people who haven't had it, then we can create a new campaign, uh, a basic email campaign, let's just give it a, any old name. Uh, just choose the list and here where it says segment or tag we're just going to change this from there to a new group or segment and um, so if we want to promote product uh, C and um, then we we want to send it to people who do not have um, who are not tagged product C so tag is not tagged with product C or request test C. Um, 
and that's going to send it to three out of the four contacts in this temporary list um, and then we construct the email and send it out uh, that way it's really easy to not send emails to people that it's not relevant to um, so yeah uh, it's not the, the most ideal way it's not the best looking way but yeah it's quite simple um, and I hope that helps